The day of Eid is a joyous day that Allah has gifted to Muslims. It's a day of celebration that marks the end of Ramadan. This day of celebration can also be a rewarding day if we incorporate certain practices from the Sunnah of Rasulullah into it. So I'm going to list a few of them. Rasulullah says that whoever brings to life the night of Eid, meaning the night that precedes the day of Eid, by worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah will bring life to their hearts on the day that hearts will die. What Rasul Sallallahu is alluding to here is that humans by their nature, after worshipping Allah and fasting for 29, 30 days, might become burnt out. However, do not neglect worshipping on such a powerful night. Reserve a portion of your night for the worship of Allah and making dua to him because it's also a powerful night for dua. Also, we should practice and recite takbirat excessively from the night before Eid and on the day of Eid also. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Walillahi alhamd. In Surah Al Baqarah, Allah says, Fasting was prescribed upon you so that you can complete the course 29 or 30 days and that you can make the takbirat and thank Allah Ta'ala, glorify Him for the guidance He has given you, guidance to fast in the month of Ramadan and enabling us and granting us the ability and tawfiq. We should take a bath on Eid, even if we're not going to perform Salatul Eid for any reason. We should wear our best clothes and smell good. We should try to eat something between Salatul Fajr and Eid prayer to break the pattern because in Ramadan you are not eating after Salatul Fajr. So therefore on the day of Eid you should eat something, at least a minimum of three dates Rasul Sallallahu used to eat. We should go for the Salatul Eid from one direction and we should return from another direction. And it's preferable that the direction that we go in is a little lengthier than the direction that we return from. And finally, when greeting other Muslims on Eid, we should say, Ta'abbal Allahu minna wa minkum as the Sahaba radiallahu anhum said, which means, may Allah accept ours and your worship. So even our greetings are a dua and a supplication. Finally, we should also be generous on the day of Eid towards our families and friends. I pray that Allah Azza wa Jal blesses us all with a good Eid. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.